Good morning, guys. It's slick down here, slick scrap behavior. We're gonna slip out here this morning, see if I can catch some more of these brim. Try to bite our lines. We still got some brim on the beds up here, along the bank. They've been a little bit hungry. I'm gonna try to fish for them for a little bit, but now I'm gonna ease on out here into the, actually out into the, to the trees and see if I can't do some good out there. I've been doing a little bit of drop shotting out there and catching a couple bait size fish anyway, but we'll try the betters first, see what happens. First game today is a daggone shiner. So we'll keep him in there for now for bait. Show him what we're looking for though. That one shiner is all I could get to commit up on the bank, so decided to slip out here in the woods. See if I can do a little better. Just pitching this drop shot up in there next to the tree. They're slowly working it back to you. Gentle like. The other day, there was a cypress tree I'm fishing here, but the other day, seemed like all the bites was coming off Tupelo trees, so that may be the, I don't know why they're keying on Tupelo tree instead of a cypress, but that seemed to work better the other day, so we'll try and see what happens. Yeah, uh oh, I missed him. He was at home though, a dead cypress. Try that again. See if he'll do it twice. There he is. Got him. I thought he might stay there for a minute. Pretty good little bluegill. He'll make some bait for sure. If we don't eat him. About to get ready for a mess of brown for supper though. He's pretty decent. Yes. So I'm gonna swim off with it before I ever got my line tied. It's good bait size. Good bait size. Donk. Mess around, catch a mess here. That's like an eater there. Try that again. You got it. You're swimming off with it. I didn't even know it. I may have hooked him in the goozle. Now, that's a good little brim. Make some bait if nothing else. All right, well, I didn't do a whole lot of good on this brim fishing this morning. Caught six or eight. Ben, Cheryl, and 
JB come back out this afternoon. <clears throat> we caught probably six or eight more maybe. But anyway, we're out here this evening. Brought this slip with me. She ain't a whole lot of it, but she can dip some dang bait up out of live well for me. So, y'all hang on with us. We're gonna try to get this line baited out. Right. It ain't gonna strain you too bad. Mine, oh, mine, oh, mine. I'm about some eating size fish. They better be a big old flathead on here in the morning. Stick him on there right behind his dorsal fin, or right below his dorsal fin. Trim that tail off. Don't sling your pliers, your pliers out there in the lake because I did that the other day. That's why we have a brand new set. They're not my favorite, but yeah, you can. You can lose them out there in the lake if you ain't careful. And it don't take long. I mean, they'll go like, boom, done deal. Trim them tails off like that. It helps them to, or I said, helps them, keeps them from swimming quite so fast. I think that it doesn't tangle up your line there as much. They're still able to swim, don't get me wrong. And even if they get free, they'll be able to swim off. But I really think it helps keep them tangling the line up so much, and it also helps the bigger fish, the catfish that we're after. Helps them get a hold of them, I think. Dang, dang, pissing all over me. You gotta watch that line, sorry. I ain't trying. I know. Let it fish. Oh, like I said, she's kind of a good bait getter. I forget it every now and then. Yeah, think. Watch that hook. Okay. I know you can't look over here and hold this net and look at that hook at the same time. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Boy, that is about the slimiest dead gum bait. That there is. Freaking old shiner. I'm gonna cut his tail too. Calm him down a little bit. That's the first fish I caught this morning. Yeah. How many more fish we got? Uh, we ain't got very many tonight. Oh, uh, you got There's one. Not for sure how many, baby. Mm. A lot more than I thought. Yeah, me too, because you about had me convinced we was boom. Dang. Do what? More than one in the basket? Yeah. The net? Probably. You said there's several in there. Mm, I thought there was. Oh. Well, I think we already did the several. Several. Oh. <laughs> we already did the several. You're, you ain't got no dang sense. I know, right? Look who you're fishing with, huh? Mm hmm. Dang. Favorite person. That ain't got no daggone hook on it. I must be the one that cut that fat head out. <laughs> I 
that all of them said that stinking old bass. Yep, you want the bass? No, can't bait with bass. That's against the law. Oh, really? Yeah. Not sure about it. Stick around me, I'd learn you some stuff. Mm. Quacked him in the head. He ought to be good though. Nope. Nope. Now it's time for the moment of truth. We got a few lines, a few of the hooks baited on the line last night. Good man, J Bay, he's still sleeping. Sarah, she's still asleep. So, it's up to old Slick go check on this and see. We'll go in here and see if we can figure out how many big catfish we got. Hopefully it's good that morning. Y'all stick with me. We didn't have any hook or any bait this side of the next weight so we're gonna get the second weight before we ever worry about a fish i believe there's a fish right there though in case y'all was wondering i sure didn't think there was a bait there but that's a good that's a good flat head that's the one we've been looking for guys that's the one we've been looking for i mean a good one Oh yeah, now I'm wet. He's 30 plus. Let's let him play down a minute. Hopefully he's hooked good. I can't see him see the hook, but dang, it's a good fish. I don't know if he'll fit in the net. Hang on there, big boy. Hang on there, big boy. Maybe I'll get chilled out here in a minute. Good one. I'm talking about a good one. Of course, I didn't have no help this morning. Down he goes. Come back up here, big boy. Swim down there. There you go. You mind, buddy? Guys, that's what dreams are made of right there. That's what dreams are made of. Whew. That was some excitement for this morning. Yes, sir. You go close to 30. Glasses off. Spotted up, can't see what I'm doing. Yes, sir. Feels kind of dumb having this little bitty pliers. That big old fish. In fact, I believe I'll just cut the hook. It'll be a lot easier. Then we can go on and check the rest of them. I don't think there was a dang bait on that. To be honest with you guys. He's not happy with the situation. I don't believe he's going nowhere though. That hook's buried up. Quiet. 
mess around and turn the boat over. Cut that hook to You're gonna have to be steel now. All these days I'm gonna have to start retying some hooks. He's not happy with the situation either. Enough bait on here, we'll have to come back to see him and check it again, too. Trot line, please. And a blue. That's a bonus. Last hook. Move that's the last hook. Yep, there's my weight. All right. Let's go to the house and brag a little bit. It's well worth the trip. Sir, look what Dad's got. Look at this, sir. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What is that? What is that? Watch him, Sarge. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him, Sarge. Watch him. What are you doing, bud? Okay guys, that's a wrap. Glad y'all watched this video with us. We pray that you'd uh, be safe out there. Get out there and enjoy this fishing yourself. We, we love what we're doing down here. We enjoy bringing these videos to you. We hope y'all keep watching. Y'all uh, like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Reach down there and click that notification bell. That way every time we put up another video, you'll, you'll see what we got. And if you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up. That helps us out too. Helps our channel out a lot. In the meantime, We'll see you out there on the water. God bless you.